Giles Thomas from MuscleDevelopment.com. I'm here at the famous Muscle Works Gym in Bethnal Green, London. And I'm here with Alex Bardacho, the current middleweight British champion, UKBFF. First of all, congratulations for winning the middleweights, mate. Um, bit of a surprise seeing you in the middleweights. Oh, thank you. Uh, I didn't plan it. It was accidentally. I was supposed to be competing under 90. But the Phoenix happens. Uh, I was traveled to, it was Friday night. Friday night was going to Manchester. It was waiting on a Saturday morning. And uh, usually it's take me about an hour from Coventry to Manchester. But I stuck in the traffic and spent about four or five hours and didn't have any food in my car and didn't have any water. And uh, all I had is, uh, it was uh, rice cakes. Just, I had a pack of, pack and a half, and it just stuck in my stomach. I'm digesting. No, 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 I just couldn't even breathe. I just lie down on a, on a sofa in a hotel. Just c couldn't move. I thought, that's it, I'm not going to compete this year. I think but, you're going to have to pull out. Yeah, so I take uh, digestive tablets, and uh, it was digest. <laughs> That's, that's how I lose the six kilos overnight. I was doing the play-by-play -play for MD, and uh, I saw the competitor list. I was like, "There's a mistake. Alex's name is on the middle on the middleweight." So I said, "80 kilo." I said, "He's he's like a top end like heavyweight." I thought, "How the hell has he made it down to middleweight?" Yeah, that's, that's, I, I was 86 kilo. I was supposed to be competing on the 90, but I just lose six kilo overnight. Six kilos. Just because because it happens. I mean, but... Stress as well, stress? Yeah, of course, of course. Every competition is stress for me. Okay, let's talk briefly about, um, I mean, originally you're from Belarus. Um, when did you come out to UK? Uh, I came to UK in 2005. So, so seven years now. Now, I know uh, you don't like to talk about this. <laughs> Obviously, in 2011, um, you came in and you won the uh, intermediate British title. Uh, now, they actually took that title off you because they said you'd, uh, they, somehow, they, they later found out you competed uh, in your national championships in Belarus in 2004, I believe. Um, so they stripped you off that title, but um, you, you created a big stir at that contest because it was for the first time they actually put up every class winner. Not just the, the men's weight classes, but the intermediates, the juniors, the, the masters. And it was but basically because they were so impressed by you in the novice class, they felt like you had a chance in the overall. Uh, what was that like going up against, obviously, guys like Cecil Crowsdale and Harold S. Dombraskis himself from Muscle Works? What was that like? I mean, this was the first time I seen Dombraskis, Harold S. I, I, I was dreaming to stay on the stage. It was like my big dream to stay next to him. And, and this happens. I mean, uh, he, he, I'm a big fan of him. He's so huge, and, and Cecil as well. They're good guys. I mean, they, they, they moved, the three of you, yourself, Cecil and Harold, they moved you together and was directly compared. Because basically, the overall, I felt, really was between you three. Yeah, but I was surprised about it. Believe me. Surprised? Yeah, of course I was surprised. I thought, I, I wasn't sure I could win my class, but, and you said, they put me... <laughs> Novice, friggin' novice. Right. <laughs> you, 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 I think you lack. I do think you lack confidence, but I think sometimes that's something that pushes guys like yourself to be so good because you, you look, you know, it's like, a, like a, almost like a reverse anorexia. You never really see yourself as big, muscular. I mean, I, we were calling you on the MD play by play. We we're calling you like a mini Dorian. I mean, you had that kind of fullness, that granite, that hardness. You know. Thanks for Mini Dorian. <laughs> so obviously, I mean, obviously 2011 was, um, that, that was obviously a bit of a low point, obviously at the end, obviously having your title. But you came back uh, in 2012 and you competed at the, you were on the British team for the uh, Arnold Madrid, the Europe, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to be compete in a Madrid in a under 85 this year, but because British final was so close, it was just only one week before, before the British, and uh, I thought to myself, uh, I can lose the title just because of traveling. It's not easy. I don't have experience of flying to some other country because usually when you get your condition when you're on stage and you fly somewhere, you have a different blood pressure and you, you have a water retention. And uh, I spoke with, with some guys and they said, 
Just if you're not sure, just don't don't go there. It was a week before the British finals. I was surprised why I was surprised actually why the Federation sent so many of our best competitors that were in the British finals a week later to the Arnold Madrid. I mean, you know, it was, I was we were talking about Harold. This he actually pulled out the British finals because he he went to the Arnold Europe Madrid the week before and got nowhere. So I think it must have maybe he held water and then he didn't do the British and then we've lost one of our our two-time British heavyweight champion. Yeah, it's a bit hard. To, to compete in other countries when you fly. It, it, it's completely different to what we're doing here. Because, like I said, you, you should know your body very well and uh, have experience. Uh, as, otherwise, you will be like, like what happens with Harold does. Well, so what's next now for you? I mean, you, you, you were invited to the Arnold Classic in, um, in, in uh, Columbus. Yeah, in Columbus, I, uh, I was invited. But I, was, I started preparing straight after, after British. But because I was dieting for so long, uh, all my body was saying no, and uh, I, I had some injuries before, and it's, it's getting worse and worse. Anything serious? Uh, the trapped nerve from my back. So, and it uh, affect all my training. I can't do legs, I can't do back, and uh, all I use is machines. So but I, I, I decided to just take care of and compete when I sorted out my problems. Do you think you'll be back at the British finals this year as a light heavyweight or even maybe as a heavyweight? This will be a surprise. I mean, really, I mean, we saw you, uh, I mean, your biggest and fullest, 87 kilo, really, I mean, that, that was as, a, as an intermediate, you know, I mean, only two years ago. Um, do you see yourself coming back as maybe even a heavyweight? I mean, Anth was one kilo into the heavyweight this year. So, I mean, you know, so it proves if you're good enough, you can still win your class. Yeah, Ant was 91, 92 on the stage. And uh, I don't know not talk on the front, but I'm 110 kilos right now. And... Uh, How tall are you? 5'7". 5'7". 5'7". And... Uh, 10 kilo, what's that? 220, 232? 232? Yeah, about 232. And I plan to gain, if I sort out my back, I plan to gain another stone and uh, compete uh, heavyweight. Oh, heavyweights? Super heavyweight. No, 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 super, no, no, no. You're too short for you uh, will see. <laughs> I, think you, I think you would go blocking the waist, and I think I could see you as a really good mid-range heavyweight uh, in that kind of condition you were as a middleweight. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just plan, planning things. But what happens on the stage, you know, and all like happens this year. Yeah. So I, I didn't plan it, but I get my title, so I'm happy about it. Well, um, well, there you go. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, being with F FA now? Obviously, uh, who uh, run MD Poland? Yeah. Out out. Yeah. I, I, after British, I signed a contract with the Fitness Authority, and uh, this is probably best company what I ever seen. Yeah. I'm, I'm signed with them not just because they give me a good offer. Because I, I was using their products years before, and I. And I did you mean train it? They, they, they have the products there, don't they? Because um, you did the seminar with Samuel Haddad. Is that Panthers Gym, isn't it? Yeah, it was a Panthers Gym, and uh, Sami is a part of our, our team, FA team. We also have uh, good guys like Ricardo. We have. Uh, oh, Ricardo's with FA now. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, Ricardo in our team. He's coming in later. <laughs> Obviously, we'll be back. Hopefully, uh, all being well with your with your back cleared up. You'll be back at the British finals this year. I hope so. I hope so. If, if I sort it out earlier, I may may gonna do body power classic. Uh, as they've been promised, they're gonna have uh, some prize money there. Yeah, amateur invitational, isn't it? Because they uh, they had the pro show which has been cancelled now, and I, be, I believe they're having a an amateur invitational show at the Body Power Expo. Uh, that's in May, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, end of May, end of May. So your back can't be that bad if you, you, you know. You never know. <laughs> I may gonna do it, may not, but it's all, it's all depend on my physiotherapist.
Well, obviously, I mean, a big thank you. I mean, I know you took the day off work and you've travelled quite a far, you know, quite a way to come down here today to Muscle Works. Um, obviously, it's your second time at Muscle Works, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's my second time. It's, it's a good gym and uh, I really like machines. I really like atmosphere here. It's nice people. Some of the best bodybuilders yeah. in the in the world, certainly well, back in the 90s. I mean, it was there's all the pros. You know, you could sometimes fight maybe five or five out of the top six heavyweights at the uh, the finals were from Muscle Works. You know, and it's it's just this one gym that produces so many great champions. It's, uh, I mean, that's one reason why I come here and people come here to train, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it's one one of the best gym in, in London. OK, well, obviously, a big thank you to Alex Bardachu there. Uh, I used to call you Ballot Bardachov, didn't I? Yeah, Sorry. Sorry. Bardachu Bardachov. Yeah, yeah. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> um, OK, well, a big thank you to Alex there uh, with um, Alex Bardachu. Uh,